Welcome to the Springbrook. This may be, it, it's not maybe, this is the single most exciting floor plan that we've ever delivered. And I say that it's one of those plans that it has everything. It can be built as a six bedroom, four and a half bath. It can be built as a seven bedroom, five and a half bath. It's got an office. It's got everything that you can imagine. It's got way over the thousand square foot master bedrooms. This particular plan is a supercharged, super sized house. And it may not be for everybody, but if you want to go after everything, if you want to live like a king, this is your house. Every bedroom in it, it's like a master bedroom. But I want you just to look at it. It doesn't look like the big box that everybody talks about. It's got a very conservative, very traditional looking. And, and then when you get on the inside, you've got all kinds of openness. You've got great foyers, great kitchens, great sitting rooms and the most unbelievable master and secondary bedrooms that you'll ever see. Please come see it. We're at Liberty Church. We're, we're going to start one down at Blackhawk. This is an unbelievable house. If you've got a house, I mean a lot, and you want us to build on your own lot, we can do it um, that way also. This is the Springbrook. You've got to come see it. I promise you with every breath of my being, you will not be disappointed. Thank you. We are finally in the Springbrook. This plan is unbelievable. Let me just tell you something. We're about to walk this house and it's got a lot of upgrades in it. This house is not for the faint at heart. You are not going to believe your eyes. So we're going to take a little bit of time and I'm going to really let David show you some of these features because it really is unbelievable. Well, as soon as you walk in the door, it's explosive. We've got this open, this is, uh, you know, I think on this one is 18 feet tall. Okay, now this customer got hardwoods in the foyer. They've got the wood treads, the open handrail, and it is absolutely magnificent. We just got this home clean, and when you walk in, it's just like, boom, it's breathtaking. Now, as you come in this way, you can see the 10-foot plates here, and what that does is it really opens up. Now, that's not a standard. That's something that people pick, but, you know, it really opens this house out. Now, I just want you to look at this. David, if you'll just kind of stand still. Just, you know, how much space this is. I mean, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've got 20 feet across, 22 feet across. But just how open. I mean, you could have unbelievable, grandiose furniture in here. You've got a beautiful view out to the back here. It's just a really custom floor plan. And this one really here is just one of those plans that, you know, if you've got a big family, a lot of teenagers, this house will just absolutely blow them away. Now I want you to take you into a master bedroom. Now you know SF Communities always touts on the master bedroom, but I want you to see at 10 foot, two um, fans in here, what this is all about. And I'm going to walk across here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost eight, which is 24 feet wide. Now we did a little custom feature in here. This normally would have a wall over here and we bumped it out to make it more of a rectangle, but <clears throat> I'm telling you, this really has um, a master bedroom, and it is a king's master bedroom. You can see with the height, it opens this room up and really gives it some feel. Okay, now if you come back in here, you have a his and hers closet, and both of the closets are almost like a mini room. Again, we emphasize master bedrooms, we emphasize great closets, you can have all your clothes in here, and this is an awesome closet. So kind of backing out, we have a shadow of the other side, which is basically, it may be a tad bit bigger, but I think it's probably the same. Um, now, if you come in here, this master bedroom actually has its own thermostat, so you can control your heating and air in this bedroom with one thermostat. Now, look at the size. David, I'm going to have you go back and watch yourself there, but look at the size of these vanities. These are magnificent. They got drawers. They got good size. You got the one over here for the wife, the woman of the family. She's got a place where they can do the makeup. You've got a makeup drawer here. You've got your, um, your commode in here. Again, you got your tub here. You've got, um, again, I emphasize the 48 inch. It gives you plenty of space to take a shower. And of course, you've got, you know, a nice little walk-in linen closet here. And so this master bedroom really it, it goes to the next level at SF, you know, especially with the 10 foot, it just really opens things up and really makes it powerful. And we love that. It's very impactful. Now coming back out again, you, you can hear almost hear the echo in this house from walking in through here. Now, David's following me again. This was the great room. 
This is your foyer. Um, we're coming into the kitchen. What a magnificent kitchen for a family who cares about a kitchen. David, I may actually ask you to walk on this side so you can actually take a picture kind of coming back here. But it's got a wonderful keeping room so you can have an entertainment center here. You could actually put a fireplace there. You've got a nice little thing where you can have a couch, a full love seat, a coffee table, your entertainment center there. And again, like a lot of our plans, we have dual staircases. So you've got a staircase that you can get upstairs this way. You've got a staircase from the front door. Look at the cabinets that you get. Again, going back to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cabinets. So you have plenty of spaces for dishes and all kinds of fun stuff. You've got a beautiful breakfast area, very spacious, can put about any size table, could probably even get almost a 60 inch in here. You've got one thing I want to emphasize too is with all the lights coming from the great room there, from the lights in your breakfast area with the windows, I mean, you get tremendous amount of light. So your home, as big as it is, does not feel confined. And when you go to the 10 foot or the nine foot, it really opens this up. Now you'll notice the customer got some can lights in here, which really gives it some you know, elegance. You've got a back patio here. I'll let you just kind of video kind of out there, but this is a covered patio and it's beautiful. And you might kind of see in the back there is these yards this, this particular home is at Liberty Church Estates, and the yards are enormous back here, so you can have a beautiful kind of a custom little look there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you up the back side here, and I'll just kind of talk as um, David walks up with me here. But uh, this one kind of brings you up to the little flex area. Um, and again, like I said, this house is really one that if you have a lot of teenagers and stuff, uh, it's unbelievable because... When we talk about and emphasize master bedrooms, we're going to give a master in every room in this house. Now this is, there is a few upgrades and I'll point them out. This is what we call flex space. This is the idea behind this. It gives the kids a place where they could have a TV. This is, they could watch some shows, a movies. They can play some video games. They can do some homework and stuff like that. And this is kind of in the middle here. So we did a nice space. Now I'm going to show you this room because this is normally what we call kind of the billiard room, but this customer has actually added another suite in here. So look at the closet when you get the bedroom here. It's a huge closet, but one of the things I want to show David and the, and the audience is, and this wall actually goes all the way to the back of that shower, but you know, for purposes of just kind of video in this house, I like to talk about that. But again, this is another total master for a total, you know, um, maybe in-law moves in, whatnot. So you've got dual vanities, you've got your tub shower combo, and you've got your commode. So this is a complete in-law suite here. And this just takes the essence, as I said, of just, you know, living like a king. I'll let David kind of finish that, and we're going to go back into the flex space here. Now, as you come back on this side over here, the intention of this particular room was to be a study. We wanted to have a full study in here with a storage facility. This customer, particular customer, just had us go ahead and put some shelving in there. But that's what this room really is, is it can be an office and it's you know, a great office. You can have all your, you know, your files and all that kind of stuff in here. But you know, again, we're walking in and just, it's a huge closet. And so you know, if you happen to have a teenager put in here, if you have four kids, you know, every one of them gets their own room, their own bathroom and everything. So that this you know, can be used for either. Now coming, coming over here, you have a bathroom that comes to the hall. So that way, if you're playing in the flex area and you've got to build your room and there, you have a bunch of kids over for a party, they can access a bathroom here. But as you come in here, this is every room that we're offering is got a walk-in closet. It's got a bathroom tied into it, whether it's a Jack and Jill or it's actually got its own in-law suite. And these aren't 11 by 12s, 12 by 12s, 4, these are 16 by 18s, 14 by 15s, in some cases 16 by 20 secondary bedrooms. Now this is a very cool thing that we've done. We've had several customers pick this, but a catwalk, and it can go between the bedrooms. So I'm just going to, we're going to walk across the catwalk. This just basically takes you from one room to the other. Now, if you just kind of, you know, pan, David, you can see how magnificent this house really looks with the wood treads and the open handrail and so on and so forth. Now, as you come into this uh, particular room in here, okay, um, David can kind of look in here. I mean, look at the size of the closets 
in these secondary bedrooms. And again, I think just for purposes, I'm going to walk off so the, the customers and people viewing today can kind of see how many feet. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 24 feet long, okay? And we're going to come across here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, okay? That's 15 by 24. This is a secondary bedroom, folks. This is not the junior master or the in-law suite upstairs or the you know, colossal master downstairs. This is a secondary bathroom. So imagine you get a teenager and they want their own room. You just say, which one do you want? Every one of them is really the you know, master in, this, in a normal house. Okay? So this one's got its own bath. So if you have a teenage girl, maybe, um, you, they get their own room in here. It's just, um, it really is awesome. That's all I have to say about that. So kind of come over in this next room. We've only got two rooms. It seems like we've walked two or three houses. Again, look at the light coming in here, how open this room feels. This is another one. It's got a beautiful walk-in closet. It's got a beautiful size. This is probably 15 by 16. And you've got your own suite in here. Now this one is Jack and Jill with the other one, but it's still, you have a bathroom that kind of comes in here. So. Um, what I'll have him do is you can just kind of actually walk right through here. So um, you can video that kind of going in there and then you just I'll let you walk through here. So it's got a tub, shower. And uh, so coming in here is the in this house is the seventh bedroom. Again, walk in closet, huge master. This one here is probably a 17 by 17. I mean, you can just see the distance from the camera, how amazing this is. So come on through here. We're going to kind of come back and we're going to finish in the flex space. And what I'm going to have you do is now on this particular house, you can actually open up and have open handrail. And if you're doing the billiard room, that can also be open handrail over there. So nice and open. And you theoretically, if you wanted to have a couple of playrooms and you had some crafts and things like that, you could turn one of these bedrooms into a craft room and you could actually open up this entire wall. You know, so folks today, this is probably one of the most exciting things we've done is a Springbrook and we've actually sold several of them. This could be a great build on your own lot. You know, again, if you've got a retreat place, if you've got a bunch of kids that you need to have a nice open space, it just takes a lot of things in consideration. And again, like I said, is SF is searching for the most exciting things that we can deliver especially today at interest rates where they are. This house, you know, it may only be 1500 a month. And so you say, you know, five years ago, you could have never got anything like this. And so it's kind of one of those, why not? Why not grab a piece of the American dream and live like a king? This is the Springbrook. Thank you.